Hello everyone, welcome back to Green with Leanne. Today we are going to read the book Jelly Beans and the Big Art Adventure. So looking at the cover of our book, we see so many animal friends on the page. This is written by Laura Numeroff and Nate Evans and this book was illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. Let's open up our book and see what it's about. <gasps> Bitsy loves to paint. Bitsy is wearing uh, an apron or like a smock. She's in front of an easel painting a canvas. She painted while eating breakfast, <coughs> cereal and a banana. She painted while playing at the beach. She's sitting on her sand castle with her big sun hat. She even painted while bowling. I don't know if that's good to do. She's painting the bowling ball. It's gonna make a streak of color when she rolls it. Bitsy liked showing her paintings to her best friends, Emily, Anna, and Nicole. Emily loved to dance. Anna loved to read. And Nicole loved to play soccer. Their favorite place to hang out was Petunias, where they shared their favorite candy jelly beans. So it looks like Petunias is a sweet shop. I see some ice cream at the window, some lollipops, and they have like their um, paper bags of jelly beans. Just as jelly beans are different flavors, but go well together, the girls were also different, but got along great. And they called themselves the jelly beans too. Oh, so like a B E. A N B for Betsy, E for Emily the dog, A for Anna the rabbit, N for Nicole the cat. Bean. The girls met at Petunias and Betsy pulled out her latest creation. That's a great painting, said Nicole, balancing a soccer ball on her head. It's really pretty, said Emily, twirling on one foot. It's dazzling, said Anna. Dazzling is my new favorite word. Anna has a book open. Mrs. Petunia Dinkley Sneezer. Hmm, that's a funny name. The candy shop's owner came over to get a better look. Oh my goodness, she said. That is dazzling. Bitsy can paint anything, said Nicole. That's perfect, said Mrs. Petunia Dinkley Sneezer because I'm redecorating my shop and there's a wonderful way for Bitsy to help. Mrs. Petunia Dinkley Sneezer led the girls outside. Bitsy, this is where I would like you to create something special. It's just a wall, said Emily. But it's like a big blank piece of paper, said Bitsy, and we're going to paint something amazing on it. We, said Anna, I don't know how to paint. Me neither, said Emily. All I can draw is a stick figure, Nicole said. Don't worry. Everyone can make something beautiful, said Bitsy. I'll show you. Bitsy took the jelly beans to a big museum. It was filled with all kinds of art. Emily saw beautiful paintings. She is a dog looking at the ballerina dog. Anna stared at a huge statue. Anna's a bunny looking at a statue bunny. Nicole loved the ancient art that was thousands of years old. Oh, Nicole is a cat looking at these ancient Egyptian cats playing soccer, it looks like. So it looks like they're leaving the Museum of Fine Art. After leaving the museum, the jelly beans were excited to create their own art. The next morning, Mrs. Petunia Dinkley Sneezer gave the girls paints and brushes and smocks. So you put the smock over your clothing so your clothing doesn't get dirty. Nicole painted flowers. <gasps> Remember Nicole loves soccer? She dumps the paint on her soccer ball and swoosh. <gasps> let's, <laughs> let's her ball print the flower centers. Emily painted a rainbow. 
Remember, Emily loves to dance, so she's leaping in the air with her brush. And Anna painted large, colorful letters. Remember, Anna loved to read, so she's very good at writing the shop's name, Petunias. Now it's your turn, Emily said to Bitsy. What am I going to paint, Bitsy wondered. She stood in front of the wall all afternoon and didn't paint a thing. What's wrong? asked Anna. Everyone will see this painting, Bitsy cried. What if nobody likes it? Everyone will love it, said Nicole. It's going to be a masterpiece, said Anna. We know you can do it, said Emily. Bitsy thought for a moment, and then she announced, I have an idea. Bitsy picked up her paintbrush and started to paint. Hmm, what is she going to paint? The next day, Bitsy raced into Petunia's candy shop. The mural is finished, she shouted happily. I can't wait to see what you've done, said Mrs. Petunia Dinkley Sneezer. She and Bitsy walked outside. The other jelly beans crowded around them. <gasps> Ta-da! Bitsy, Emily, Anna, Nicole, under the Petunia's rainbow. And actually, if you look, it says petunias, <gasps> jelly beans, bean, B-E-A-N. It's perfect, said Nicole. It's dazzling, said, it's dazzling, cried Anna. What a beautiful mural, Mrs. Dinkley Sneezer said. And I know just how to thank all of you. Here's a treat as sweet as you are. Jelly beans! It looks like it's raining. Jelly beans, um, nom, 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 nom. And the four friends, they get to eat. This was called Jelly Beans and the Big Art Adventure by Laura Numeroff and Nate Evans. It was illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. Thank you so much for reading along with me.